Bert in Aurora, Quebec, Canada, obviously. Hey, Paul, I really appreciate the YouTube videos you have posted, especially during the COVID months. Thanks. You know, I was just looking at some of those the other day. Oh, my gosh. What a different time, right? I mean, COVID, I'm so glad we are past all of that. I look at some of those where I just, I stayed at home, went in the backyard and, and sat out in the flower garden and made my videos. <laughs> I couldn't be around anybody, right? So <laughs> anyways, pretty crazy. Um, my question is about you and Mr. John Hunter. Uh, John Hunter is a good friend of mine. He owns Rel Subs and good guy, smart guy. All right, he says, you both have said that speakers rated down to 30 hertz can never reach that low of a frequency because of room dynamics. However, I wonder then why a subwoofer would not be affected by room design. What makes a subwoofer different than a full range speaker? Is it the placement or is it the filters or electronics that makes them different and if so, why? Yeah, it's the placement. Very simple, it's the placement. Because if we look at a subwoofer, there are subwoofers with 8-inch drivers. There are subwoofers with 10s and 12s and 18s. Those are the same woofers that we find in our main speakers. So our Aspen series of loudspeakers, they go down to 26 hertz. That's like 6 hertz above the limit of human hearing. And yet, in many rooms, you won't hear a whole lot of deep bass. That is because where I have to set the Aspens, the speakers in the room to get the best imaging, to get my best sound stage and top end is not necessarily, and in fact, probably not where the best position would be to get great bass. So it's the separation of the subwoofer that really makes the difference. I can set my subwoofer in an area of the room that would be awful for putting my main speakers, but because all I'm looking for is 30 hertz and below, that'll work perfect over here. And then when I'm sitting in my seat, I hear great sound from my main speakers, my subwoofer, I don't even notice it, but all of a sudden it sounds like my main speakers have full on bass. And that's the secret to subwoofers. We don't wanna hear them, but we want them to fill in all the gaps by placing them somewhere different in the room than my main speakers. Okay? Thanks for the question. <laughs>